It was nice to read your thoughts on uh, Merwin's first five volumes of poetry last week. Now we move on to his poetry from uh, 1963 to around 1973. His 1973 volume, Writings to an Unfinished Accompaniment, was where I was first introduced to Merwin. It's the first volume I bought um, by him. And it's still one of my favorite uh, volumes of any contemporary American poetry. Merwin really was a, a counterculture phenomenon, uh, and you know, a, a regular, a regular in the college, university, and coffee house scene. Uh, just as the uh, what was it, the chronology from the conversations with Merwin pointed that out, and it, it's really true. I don't know if this was Merwin's plan or not, but uh, we can already see from from our readings last week that a transformation had started to occur uh, in Merwin's poetry and poetics and uh, his political views uh, uh, began to rise to the surface. So this week we move on to the lice and to the two volumes following that. Also there's some prose uh, yeah, poems in there that, uh, that we're looking at. He wrote these starting in New York City back in 1963 he went to France for a number of years and lived in rural France, wrote there. And then he was in the, the American West and Southwest uh, in the early 70s to mid 70s before he moved to Hawaii, I guess around 1976. So I think you'll notice in the lice that we start to see his language starts to decompress into more prose-like fragments. Edward Bruner in one of his essays on Merwin says this about that language in the lice. Its formlessness allows for turns of phrase that startle with their lyric grace. I've posted a short essay by Merwin called On Open Form uh, that is about his transformation of poetics. The lice had a big impact on the readers of uh, American poetry in the 60s and 70s. In fact, uh, many consider it kind of a sacred text of uh, contemporary American poetry. Uh, when it comes to form, I want you to notice uh, how the punctuation is starting to disappear in capitalization too, but punctuation really starts to disappear in the carry of ladders and in an un, uh, writings to an unfinished accompaniment. Okay, that's it for, for now. Uh, I will see you all online later this week.